Hey everyone, it's Regine with Shall We Wine. Happy New Year. Uh, I am super excited, so do not fast forward or skip on to another video because I have something really special planned for you today. Um, I know when you see me with champagne bottles or sparkling wine bottles, you think I'm gonna sing. I'm not gonna sing today. I got something special for you. Um, I wanna talk to you about like wine inclusion. Um, one of the misconceptions is that you have to spend a lot of money on wine, especially on sparkling wine. So what I've done today is created a special segment called Bubbles from Budget to Baller. So if you have $10 to spend, or if you have $250 to spend, I have found Bubbles for your New Year's Eve celebration. It's real, y'all. So let's just get to it. Okay, um, but let me real quick. I my own story is I'm not gonna lie to you. I have had some New Year's celebrations where all I've had is ten dollars, and I've popped open a bottle of Prosecco, and then I had a New Year's Eve where I had a four hundred fifty dollar bottle of champagne. It was a gift. I couldn't afford it. I didn't spend it. But okay, let's get to it. All right. So if you have ten dollars, ten dollars in your pocket, I have two wines for you. Here you go. The first one is a Henry LeBlanc. So I went to Binnie's, which is in Chicago, but if you're not in Chicago, I believe you can find this in other markets. And I said, I only have $10. What, can, what sparkling wines would you recommend? And they recommend this. This is a Blanc de Blanc, which is 100% Chardonnay. And you guys, it's $5.99 and it's 100% delicious. I am not lying to you. I did not believe the Benny's manager, but he proved me wrong. So you have a bunch of people coming over, you're on a budget, $5.99, pop this open and you'll be happy. The second wine I have is the Paul Clément. This is a rosé out of France. Um, I have used this wine for several events this year and have not been disappointed. This is about $10.99. If you're in Chicago, go to Kimbark Beverage and they have it right now for $8.99. It's lovely. It's got this kind of um, strawberry currant flavors. This is delicious, $8.99. You won't be disappointed. All right, so let's say you got a little bit more money in your pocket and you have about $20 to $30 to spend. I have three options that I'm recommending. The first one, this is the Bonfi. This is a Brichetto Daiki. Now, you guys know a few weeks ago, about three weeks ago, I was in Italy and I had a chance to visit the winery. Um, I used this wine last week at an event and this was the favorite of all of the wines that I showed. Brichetto Daiki is a sweet wine. It tastes like rose petals and strawberries. Uh, really delicious and has a light sparkling. Highly recommend it. All right, I know I have been on this um, Cremant d'Alsace kick, and this is one of my favorites. This is Lucienne Albert. This wine is fresh. It's got soft, um, creamy texture. Uh, it has notes of pear and apples. It's yummy. It's about $23, $25. If that's all you have to spend, highly recommending the Lucien Albert. Okay, let's say you have $30 to spend. Uh, this is a Francia Corta. So Francia Corta is a sparkling wine from Italy. Love, love, love this wine. I also had a chance to visit the winery. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Francia Corta is Italy's answer to champagne. All right, and speaking of champagne, I got two for you. Um, Vincent Couche Chloe. This is a wine, a sparkling, or excuse me, a champagne with zero dosage. So it's dry, it's fresh. If you're doing um, some seafood, I like to have this with seafood, especially oysters. Try it out. It's about $50, $55. Um, if you have $75, $80 to spend, I'm recommending the Chino Rosé. This wine is absolutely gorgeous. If you like rosé champagnes, 
this is one of my favorites it's got a lot of strawberry notes it tastes like strawberries and cream it's gorgeous it's dry okay where my ball is at where my ball is at all right i have two wines if you are ready to ball out and you know what why not it's a new decade this is the, the this is the year if you can to ball out uh here's the first one i'm going to recommend this is the laurent perrier grand siècle all right let me break this down to you so grand siècle remember vintage champagne is only made in extraordinary years so what they've done is they've taken three different vintages vintage champagnes and they blended it together to create the grand siècle this is about 140 maybe 160 dollars it's amazing i opened this two years ago obviously another bottle and you won't be disappointed so if you're gonna ball out highly recommend the grand siècle okay last but not least you guys know i love champagne and i tasted some beautiful champagnes this year however my favorite this is the charles heidsen this is the um blanc de millionaire which sounds like millionaire um you kind of have to be a millionaire but no it's not too bad it's 250 dollars and worth every penny so they only produce this wine every 10 years it is absolutely amazing um i think this is the wine i'm going to open myself for new year's not that i'm a baller but i got a bottle so why not um you will not be disappointed this is creamy it's lush it is the best champagne i had in 2019. okay so i got you whether you are on a budget whether you are a baller or anything in between i have some options for you go to my blog i will list all of these wines and i will list the price points and i just want you to enjoy your new year no matter how much money you have get your favorite glass this is mine this is the rito feto amano uh it's just beautiful but it doesn't matter whatever wine glass you have grab it pour some deliciousness and happy new year